Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to my dark room. Y'all, I am trying to get a better light and fixture for my room. But until then, I came to you with a little video. Man, people need to stop lying on Q. Q is not pregnant. Not yet. I mean, I mean, come on. She is is playing. Her and her husband is playing, you know. You know, she said pregnant with twins for 24 hours. I'm not going to use none of her content off of uh, Instagram or anything like that because I respect the woman's, you know, flow. You know, I, I don't need to make money off of her videos, just like Ellie or anybody else that I view on uh, Instagram and on YouTube. You know, I decided to stop doing that. But the girl is not pregnant. I mean, she could be pregnant now, you know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, look at the timeline, okay? She just went back to Nigeria. <laughs> she wouldn't be that far along, you know what I'm saying? Is she pregnant with twins? Come on, y'all be real. These people on YouTube is funny. They want you to believe that, you know, uh, just weird. It's weird to me. How can you look at her stomach? If you've never had been pregnant in your life, how can you look at that? You can tell that's a pillow or a fake uh, belly in her stomach because she wouldn't be that far along. Use your common sense here. Common sense lets you know there is no way in this world that girl could be that big, you know what I'm saying, this quick, okay? But, you know, she's just being playful, her and her new husband, and and I appreciate that. It's just like, you know, um, I appreciate that. She's going on with her life, whatever she decided to do with her life, that's her business. And, you know, she's also bringing her business to YouTube, too. But I enjoyed her latest video uh, as them as a couple when he was showing the market, when they were showing the marketplace and everything and you know it humbled me as a a person of color it humbled me and you know because i see that our black people well y'all see my little gray hair growing right there i've been trying to pull them them hairs out of my chin i don't know i don't know if i'm turning into a goat or what but i grow hair in too much okay but um uh, but yet yeah, it humbled me because it just shows you that we're so used to seeing, you know, even if a black person's in the project here in the United States or the marketplace, it's more sanitized than that. I'm not saying that their foods is unsanitary because I'm sure they they being black people, they do clean their foods, okay? It's just us. But the you know the uh you know the landscape you know it's in dirt you see a lot of rocks you know you see a lot of puddles but it made me feel a certain kind of way when i seen it and and i know it's like that all over in different parts of africa that you have the rich part you have the middle class part and you have the poor part. Now, these people at the marketplace, you know, these most of these people are farmers. Or, you know, they may work a land and they sell their produce on the streets. Which, you know, you got a lot of cultures that does that. But, like I said, um, I enjoyed her video. I really did. And, and like I said, it, it, it made me feel humble. Um, uh, because we got so much in this country, even though we have poverty here, a lot of poverty, a lot of people live homeless on the streets, but, um, it's not such a doggy dog like it is in those countries. They are controlled by their government, you know, which their government is, I'm sure, I think they presidents or something is black, but what I'm saying is they are controlled by that environment. And it's just so much that they can do. That's the reason why I had said in my other video, I just want her to be careful. 
you know, and cautious because she's learning about the culture. She's not a part of, she's a part of the culture since she's married, you know, this guy. But what I'm saying is she didn't grow up with that culture. And, and I'm sure there's a lot of things that she's going to learn. And she might speak about it on her channel. But it's up to her to speak about it. It's not up to me to speak about it. But I'm just saying, more power to you, Q. And I don't know. I think every dime that I would have would be given to those people because of the situation they live in, just like I do here in the United States. What I give, I don't say anything about it. I just do it. And, you know, but I appreciate her showing us What's really, you know, the truth. I used to watch Zimmerman and he would go different locations in Africa and he showed a lot of the way that the people would have their markets and, and how they lived. You know, the real, you know, the people that, is, that don't have the money. And we, you know, you can see the ones with the money. You can tell the difference. But like I said, the girl is not... If she's pregnant, she couldn't be no more than about like a month or two months. And, uh, you know, I don't know. But I know she's not ready to, I mean, the way she looked like she's ready to deliver. But you can tell that's padding. So just keep on, you know, being you cute. And, you know, I'm going to keep on following you because I liked you. I liked you when I first seen you way before I even knew about Beloved Life. And like I said, before Beloved, I watched the Hungry Fat Chick. That's what propelled me really into mukbangs. But, uh, and then all the rest of them came later. Uh, Beloved Life and all of them came later. And the Koreans and all that. But as far as, um, I don't know. I've been thinking about deleting my channel because I I want it to grow. I do. But I don't want to come on here with anything negative. I don't want to try to judge another person by what, what I see for 30 minutes on, on YouTube. You know, because I don't know these people's life. Not in real life. I don't want to try to dissect the way... The words that come out of their mouth and, and and how I think that they feel instead of the way they actually feel. I don't want to do that anymore. All that is negative and is low vibrational. So, uh, but the ones that I do rock with, I'm going to continue to rock with. I'm going to continue to support them, whether it's financial or, you know, or whatever. But... Um, it's a lady, and I'm going I, I, I don't know if she want me to shout out or not because I don't have that many subscribers. But what I do have, you know, I hope you go and subscribe to her channel. Her name is uh, Free Spirit CC. And because I like her, you know, she's getting her start, and I just want her to succeed. So, anyway, um, I'm feeling ready to get off of here. I done got hungry. I don't know what I'm going to eat. And I was watching Play's video, him eating them Cornish hens, man. I wanted to go through that TV and grab one of them hens. And because they look so good. And, you know, just like him, you know, he's positive. He wants to spread love around. You know, whether, you know, people like him or not, I like him. And I'm not going to turn against somebody because some... Now, if he had been, had been abusive, you know, like that, then no, I wouldn't support him. I'm sorry. I'm not going to support a man that hurts a woman like that. But, um, but you see Q got over it. She moved on. And so, you know, it's all good in the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? So I'm here to just say, you know, continue to pray for each other and continue to lift each other up in a positive way. And just let's spread love to each other as a family, as a whole family. I'm not here to criticize. I'm not here to judge. You know, and like I said, I don't know these people in real life. I just like their personalities. 
And sometimes, you know, I've been to some certain channels that they are way off the chain, and I still like them too. And, you know, it don't keep me from being a human being and loving my fellow man. So, y'all, just take it easy, and I pray blessings upon everyone that views this, this video. And, like I said, you know, people need to stop lying when they know it's a lie. The girl is... Come on, she put on her post for fun, okay? So my phone's getting ready to cut off. I love you, ladybugs. Peace out.